क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री तो मेरा इज इनक्लाइंड एट एन एंगल थीटा इज इक्वल टू सिक्स डिग्री We will perform this practical. Then we'll have a theory answer also. Two mirrors in a line to each other at what angle? Yes. मिरर वन डॉटर लाइन जस्ट टू गेट एन आइडिया अबाउट नाइंटी डिग्री दिस अ टोटल एंगल सिक्सटी डिग्री सॉरी नाइंटी सो यू कैन ड्रॉ अ लाइन मेकिंग व्हाट एंगल सिक्सटी डिग्री There are two mirrors, M1 and M2, inclined to each other at what angle? 60 degree. And again, there is an object placed at what distance? Same. One, two, three, four, five. There is an object placed, say, at five centimeter. Draw it. फ्री हैंड ड्राइंग Yes, procedure. How do you draw image for this object? This is the mirror, reflecting side. Yes, step one is what? To draw a perpendicular. And whatever is this equal to, say x, you need to move equal distance on the other side. That is, this be termed as first image I one. How do we draw for the second one? Yes, if you draw it to the scale, you will find it somewhere here because it is placed symmetrically. You will find when you draw it to the scale. You will find this to be somewhere here. What about this one? Yes. Again, to draw a perpendicular, this distance x, you will find that this, these two distances are equal. Image formed here is I2. Draw it. Draw I1 and I2. Drop a perpendicular on the mirror. Yes. What next? Image of I one. Treat I one as object. It is at certain distance. C 
Say y from this mirror, extend this mirror to infinity like this. This is a mirror, you extend it. This is a mirror now. If this is a mirror, where is its image? Yes, exactly backside, same distance. So, this distance is also y. Yes. Let me call this as I1 dash. This image is I1 dash. Next, image of I2. Treat I2 as object placed in front of M1. Why not M2? Upper part, this surface is the reflecting surface of M2 and this is back side. Fine. So, back side of the mirror is not a working, it is not a reflecting surface. That is why you need to get image of I2 in reflecting face of what? M1. So, extend M1 to infinity. This distance you will find as what? Perpendicular. If you drop a perpendicular here, you will find this to be y. Yes, this is the mirror, this is the object, the object is exactly behind the mirror. By what distance? Yes, y, to be termed this as image of I2 is what? I2 dash. Next, I1 dash is placed in front of what? I1 dash is placed in front of this mirror M1. So, drop a perpendicular, move equal distance, you get its image somewhere here, I1 double dash. What about I2 dash? Yes equal distance. And what you get here is I2 double dash. When you draw it to the scale, measure all equal angle, you will find these two images will come out at the same place. That is I1 double dash and I2 double dash will overlap. Practical, what is your answer? Number of images is equal to what? Yes, this is the object 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. Theory. number of images, 360 by theta, you have to decide the sign, minus 1, why? 360 by 60 minus 1, 6 minus 1 is equal to 5, why? The last one overlaps, why it overlaps? Because it is placed uh, symmetrically. All the images, now what is the answer, correct answer is all the images, object and its images. At the end you have to carry out this exercise at home. Compass, place the needle at this point, open the compass equal to the object distance and then trace a circle. When you trace a circle like this, this is the center, you place it and then when you mark it, you will find all images. Object and images lie 
on that is why you have this formula 360 degree full circle divided by theta otherwise if you remember this as a formula given in the book without reason you won't be able to answer objective question 360 by theta one minute to complete 